Hi guys, I'm Philip. So, uh, welcome to module 4, Living Room Design. Okay. So today, today we'll talk about uh, how to build a TV cabinet here. Okay, and about the panel function. Now, mostly we'll be talk about custom system cabinet. Okay. So first, follow me. Go to room. Okay. Click on this button. Okay. System cabinet. So this one, uh, so-called system cabinet, right? We have some different. Uh, this one, despite the wardrobe, kitchen cabinet, or and um, this one, bathroom cabinet, uh, cannot do only. Others will be under system cabinet, like your TV cabinet, like your dressing table, like a shoe cabinet, and etc. Okay. So in here you can see we have a lot of uh, different type of cabinet This one a different version you can see All oh, different version but also a different type only lah. Okay, we can just drag out and use Okay, this one is a combination Okay, for example here you will see living room TV cabinet also Or oh, you can drag out and use Okay, a different type of combination The free cabinet and favorite Okay so follow me, I'm gonna start with this one I'll just talk about a little bit on this uh, banner Okay, the first thing uh, you need to drag this one I'll drag this one out Okay, so just change the size first uh, This one will change it 300 And maybe uh, 300 This one change it 2004 Okay, this one give it 300 or so 200 200 okay and the pleat if the one like you see something like this right you can adjust it so you can go to more delete the pleat if you don't want okay after that uh, this one will give you a distance I'll give it a distance okay then you may drag one panel this one I need to teach you okay you may need to drag this one, park here, drag one panel, uh, for example this one, or drag to here. Okay. So usually you drag to her. However, sometimes you may need to drag on here also. Or let's say I drag this one to here. Okay. So here maybe you need to do it manually, then I may do it manually, 2004. Okay. Then follow the size, 430, 430, uh, this one. Okay. So here we have some uh, thing you can do. So let's make it all rectangle first. I'll make it all rectangle first. Okay. Make it all rectangle. Then after that you can click on this one. Oh. Use that button. Or three axis movement here or, or the, this one Z button or just press Z button you can move it okay you can move it like this or move it like this okay and another button is point capture also or point capture so you can use something like this point to point capture okay control Z or another button edge capture so let's say this line uh, let's say this one merge with this one uh, also can okay oh so uh, let's make it point capture okay then exit okay after that we will drag this one uh, wall banner module uh. Okay, here you can choose the wall board one. Drag out first. Okay, so this banner uh, we also can use this method called X button, or you can rotate it. Or click on the X on your keyboard, you can rotate it. Okay, turn it. Okay, so I pick it original. Okay. Okay, very simple, we move it first or we give it the uh, elevation 500 500 Okay, then this one maybe we use point capture lah. Simple Tap, tap Okay, the point capture Bottom 
here to here okay after point capture then you use the size okay change it 2400 and this one uh, maybe give it 1800 simply okay then you need to drag one base cabinet okay simply drag one base cabinet like this one okay you can change the height uh, okay this one will make it zero first okay add another 300 uh, add another 400 okay mm. this one add 100 After that, we just change the dip. Uh. This one, uh, the dip is 430. The depth 430. Just change it 430. Enter. Okay. Okay, then we continue here. Uh, okay, you just drag some panel uh, later. I will teach you how to put drawer also. Uh, okay, just right click, add function part here. We drag some panel. Okay, drag panel here. Then right click on it, evenly divide two. Uh, so I'll put two panel here. Another one here, same. I need right click, uh, right click, add function part, drag the shaft block, then right click, two panels, or no? two panels, little one for door, one for the drawer, also. Okay. Okay, after you fill in the panel, right, then now we're gonna uh, talk about how to create the drawer. So for drawer very easy, you come to this button, then you come to this one, drawer, okay? So you select the cabinet, like this, okay? Then choose the pattern. Uh, after you choose the pattern, computer will ask you, you want to do overlay or do insert, or embedded, okay, inside. Uh, uh, up to you. Uh. So this one, I will do overlay, I'll do overlay, okay? Then I click confirm. Oh, so this one I do the same thing. Just click confirm on it. Okay. And here, okay, let me show you. If let's say you've got more than one drawer, what you can do. Okay. So you can click on here also. Okay. Then computer will read this carcass will do uh, uh will do the drawer. Lah. So here you can click custom. Computer will advise you drawer one, drawer two. So maybe I put three drawer here. Okay. Then I take on it, I'm gonna change the size up. I want make one small, two big. Okay, so maybe this one I'll put 200. Enter. So the rest of the number will come to here. Okay. Then you click confirm. So one small, two big. And you can see. Okay, coming up, we're gonna go for the dollar. Go up. So for the door also, you can click here, then door banner, okay? You can select here for the door banner here, okay? So I select here, then I click install, I see the door, okay? Then I off the door, click exit, see? Oh, you can see the door open, close, okay? So for door guys, you click on it right here you can adjust the everything you can see the door you can open like flip door also can or and up and down also can up to you okay then the size you can change okay material you can change oh. and here is the divide so you can click on here to divide the door like this or divide the door like this also can so we divide vertical oh, this one vertical okay this one horizontal so we divide vertical, 
then we divide it like a swing door equally to then click OK uh -huh. so when you click O you will see or something like this okay coming up we're gonna talk about this one oh, I'm gonna teach you another method to create cabinet okay to create exactly like this same cabinet okay you can come to this one here free cabinet design oh, so this one free cabinet design here are same this one or this one they are same okay we start with this button okay so we start with here this one is a new function you can set the cabinet the size and the banner thickness also can by just click on this button so you can choose choose okay so let's say choose already okay before that we need to make sure you know the size of this cabinet so 600 okay so I'll create one here free cabinet create okay 600 2100 okay white 430 so later you do the eh? the white is 600 sorry the depth is here okay 430 okay then the height oh, the panel thickness you can change each of them and this one is the pleat of the skirting here or green color you can set also okay after you're done setting then come to new skin just put here then we follow the method of how we create walk three drawer one uh, one door or two door so first here we have some device you see banner space cabinet so this one is the cabinet space for the cabinet and panel okay you must know the difference of this button okay then you click on space or we select this one called partition click on it select the space mm. let's see click on it select the space mm. partition okay so this partition will ask you how many space according space uh, how now is two space so you follow this pattern we need three space so I'll click three space okay three space or shelf what then click OK Coming up, we're gonna do the drawer also. La. Drawer, click on here. You may see this one here. Anything of the panel, you can quickly add. Or this way, we'll add inside la, by using space. Okay, so you can add drawer. So I select the drawer. Choose same thing, ho, same thing. So we choose uh, overlay. Okay, then custom here. We change uh, add one. This one, I make it smaller size or same as just now then click confirm okay just remember guys this one is according to the space la. they are different or they are different okay and the door also we do the same thing click on here click on the door so you can choose the door you want so we choose this one la. install so see they are exactly same okay so if you want to cut the banner, you can same thing like how you can click on here, okay? Banner, oh, uh, each of the banner you can try. Uh, oh. So that's all for the free cabinet design. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about handle, oh guys, handle for the cabinet. Okay, so for handle, right, the best way to learn is this one. Right click, all handle, install. Or you can click on this button it will help you a lot okay so in here you see handle installation got open door and drawer so the different here if you got flip door they will have one more button for flip door okay so open door here which add no? choose any handle you want so maybe I want this one hmm, see handle handle Okay, we can adjust it. Is it handle one, handle two, handle three? These four banner is here. Okay, so let's say I want uh, delete, then add again. Also can. Okay, or 
add another handle also can. Okay, let's say I add another handle. Okay, here you can position it. Okay, you can choose the thing you want position. So you choose here, all follow the same. Okay. Or you can see all to the same. Then X, Y, Z here you can adjust the handle, the distance. Okay, just show you maybe 30. Mm, see? Oh. Even you want to uh, rotate also can. Oh, rotate also can. Mm, see? Or mirror also can. Okay? Same as drawer or same as drawer. But let's say I want this, these two, no drawer. Then I need to choose so. Uh, this one, DD. Okay, so choose another one, uh, DD. So these two without drawer, other will remain. So let's say other, I want to follow this one, one, two, three, I want different handle, one, two, three, or oh, control select only. Control select the button here, it will follow. Then when I change the handle position, it will follow also. Okay, so you can play like this. Then I exit. So continue. Uh, we will talk about how to put upload your own texture. La. For your own texture, la, you can come to here, uh, account setting. Then you come to this one called product category first. Oh, you see texture. Okay, so we must create a texture on it. Okay, so let's say I click a name. So um, I'm gonna create a category or like this. Wood two or this one I give it wood three, okay, okay, wood three, okay. After you then create the category, then come to here M Y, okay M Y here texture. You will see you can upload the texture. Click publish, okay. Then you give a name, okay. So this texture maybe I give it a wood uh, A B C one name lah simply give you a name here you can simply choose the style but this one you must choose carefully because air house cannot uh, adjust the material you only can choose the material properties so you will choose the wood lah also this one is a wood texture mm, where Uh, matte wood texture or something like this uh, matte wood texture okay then after you choose already choose the color then here simply give the size here you click upload okay so in the upload here you can choose uh, choose the texture first So once you upload a regular, you see this one blue color jetpack come out, that means complete. Okay. So once you complete, remember select the classification. Okay. So I select the wood trailer just now I create. Or make it blue color, then we click submit. If you appear here, that means you success. Then you can come back to here. When you want to change the material, you just click on the banner, click here. Okay. Previously we are choose the material from here in the cloud. Okay, from here in the cloud. Now we can choose my. My is uh, what I upload. For example, wood tree, mm, this one, wood ABC one. Mm, there you see the texture. Okay. You can also adjust the texture by just right click. You will see material, or you can rotate uh, and stir sheet also can. Okay. Beside this one, you can also apply the material you upload in the model here. Okay, let's say I drag a coffee table. Okay, coffee table. Simply drag this one, coffee table. Okay, then I want to apply this material. So I can come to MY, upload also. Texture. Just drag. Okay, so you can mix match okay by using this function also. Okay, so this one just aware, let you know only. Coming up, we're gonna talk about the lighting. Oh, the lighting we have two methods, guys. Oh, one is here, 
system cabinet design so in here you can see okay then you select the cabinet here you will see this one light install so this one will help you install the lighting so you can choose the pattern you want okay then here you can do the setting also also you want up or down or the banner and uh, F is front C is middle or back okay the back here banner okay and you can change the quantity if you want to light also can increase color and the brightness okay once you've done all the setting click generate you see one okay this is just one of the method you also can do something like this let's say I did it first did it okay another method is this one oh you also can come to here crop feel like or lighting feel like here you can track any model of the lighting or oh, for example this universal light strip okay you can hold control button drag it hold control button guys remember or oh, hold control button move it or else uh, it will fl uh, float to the ceiling okay so make sure you can hold your control button then move it okay then you press C or you can uh, change the size press that you can move it okay here you can change the size also here you can change the color and the brightness or you can change the brightness okay still all up to you okay beside this uh, like thing you can see here got yellow light strip and etc okay so this one I cannot cannot change the color cannot change the brightness okay you can see here no setting okay so some of the light have setting only or not all like this okay and this feel like uh, which mean we got lighting effect but no light bulb okay so make sure you remember feel like got light effect but no light bulb this one you can put at the corner also uh, to make the area bright but without light bulb okay so make sure you understand and this one is the virtual sunlight so usually virtual sunlight right we will track and in the room first then move it up so you, you will float on top okay so you can adjust it hold control remember hold control so I got, I got like this then the sunlight will come inside the window okay so if you need it you can use it or if you don't want you can delete okay just let you know okay and beside this one you also can track the light from here or you see there is called corset light okay they are same la, or auto corset or, but it's still LED so if you like this one you can just drag out and move to here okay there are a lot of options okay hold control la, just remember to hold control okay but for corset light if I am not remember wrong it no need to hold control la. so let's say I move it without control also can or, because it's automatic set under the uh, banner okay C or same button ZXC to adjust it okay okay coming up we're gonna talk about the banner or oh, guys the banner okay so for banner right uh, we're gonna talk about the panel point editing okay you will see here the part okay part here you will see uh, maybe this banner okay I drag out first or uh, maybe we select this one or uh, front razor okay drag out the front razor okay I'm gonna show you one thing uh, the height we change it to 2004 okay the white we need to change to 1200 however here you see this one is the maximum see the 800 is the maximum they have a range so what we can do we can click B boy or on your keyboard you will see B boy on your keyboard you see bot selection mode then you select this banner we can break the rules just now it's 600 right here is 600 we can change it to 1200 
Oh, so remember, bot selection can change the banner size, okay, and can break the rules, okay, by bot selection. After that, you will see here at the bottom left side, you will see cut hole. Yeah, and click on it. You can choose any pattern, any shape you want. Just click on it. You will see here the hole are here. So maybe I'll change the distance, one hundred, three hundred, oh. 300 uh, so you can see okay adjust the distance like this and the size you also can change maybe 200 I'm gonna see Baker or the triangle okay you can rotate also 45 mirror it also can up to you and you also can array it so you can click on it right then you click array you can see here we will have X and Y button let's say we array it on uh, to the X direction X direction so maybe I want three quantity or three triangle here and interval is the gap so maybe each of them uh, 200 gap right? apply I will see 200 gap one 200 gap one oh this is how you drill hole okay another button is this one or oh, panel chamfer you can click on this one select the banner click on this one you see each of the corner here we can chamfer so we select this one okay computer will know this one want to change so you can change like this see we put 300 the radius or any pattern you want 300 and 300 oh. you can try play with this function chamfering type okay the last one is panel stretching. Panel stretching is extension. So you can select the panel, click on this button, you can stir. Then you give a number. So maybe I want it extend more uh, 500. Then I click 500, enter. I uh, see this one extend 500. Not very useful. Or well, we can change in here also. Okay. If you want uh, decrease or lesser, then you can click minus. Okay. Let's say minus 500, enter. Okay, coming up, well, we also talk about bot selection, but this bot will delay it. Lah. Oh, delay it. Not useful already. We delay it. Okay. Coming up, we're going to talk about this one. The And also using panel to talk about it. Okay. We're going to drag this one. Farm razor. Change back the size. All the same size. Okay. But I'm going to use a uh, panel point editing to talk about it. So we same thing like how here cannot change. We click B, bot selection, click on it, change it to one two zero zero. Okay. After that, same thing. Right click, you will see panel point editing. This one can help you open any hole, any pattern, treat the hole you want. Okay. The pattern uh, oh, so I'll show you. So in here, right, you can see. Uh, this is the panel. Let me see what it is. Uh, this is the panel. Uh, other thing not important. Okay. So this panel here, right? You can uh, adjust it from here. You see, you can rotate. Oh, see the arrow, 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 arrow. Okay. So you can flip also. Click on it. You can flip. See, flip it. If you want, you can flip it. Oh. Or you turn here also can no problem. Uh, oh. But adjust it correctly. So now I'm gonna talk about um, this one first. Okay, you can drill hole. Okay, you can draw any hole here, any pattern you want. Or sometimes you want to do a partition, uh, the pattern, uh, you may use this function. Okay, remember join back, then you will create a hole. Or any hole you want. Okay, if you don't like it, you can delete it. Or the size, you can change it. Okay. So beside this button, right, let's say some of the button you cannot draw, then you may import. Uh, click on this button, you can import it. So you can choose the uh, this one of uh, the file we give you. Let's say the basic class. Three days. DXF file. Okay, let's say this one, the first one, exim. Okay, click on it, open. Then you will see. So the thing we have created already, or oh, 
you can just save then return or you can adjust it okay using X you can adjust it okay like I told you before okay there you can move it okay guys so after that we're gonna uh, use panel point to do a glass la, or gas railing railing glass oh, so later when you do uh, you can do something like this okay oh. so this one according to size la, up to you okay I will drag this one called super pot okay this one if you don't want you can delete or delete it okay so this super pot right I will use B pot selection same function right click using panel point editing okay so in here uh, we need to change the size first one or as long as possible so maybe I'll click back here I'll change the size so the white and the depth both I'll give you 2004 okay 2004 okay then this one I'll move down a bit okay so this size are up to you are uh, no restrict uh, but this one is my uh, number uh, okay so after that I right click on it I click um, this one panel point editing also okay so this is the panel right I can change the panel create the shape the pattern I want so I press delete then I draw with this button to draw okay so maybe I start drawing I click on one here okay then to this one here uh, 1200 so here I will make approximately lah, huh? approximately uh, give it until something like okay something like here. Let me double check. Uh, can I see? So one thousand two hundred here. Uh, okay, one thousand two hundred here. I come to you. I come to here. I want to drop a bit. Okay, 1,600, okay, I'll go to 600, 1,002 plus 600, 1,008, 1,008, okay, so I click here, 1,800, then come back here, oh, 1,800, add back the 600, okay, so this one should be the 600, here, okay, 600, Okay. Click here, then I click here. Okay, you see, create a pattern like this, or for the railing, then set return. Okay, so this one you can create any pattern now, not only this now, huh, by using the draw. Okay, so I'll change it to glass material. Okay, then I can use. Uh, for the hand railing the size actually up to you lah guys the size actually up to you okay so this one we will use uh, on the next chapter for free modeling okay by creating the the staircase and this one we will use as the railing okay so thanks for watching bye